Hello friends. In last session, we have already learned about uh, cotton effects. We have learned the CD and OD curve and its application. And today we are going to learn about the alpha haloketone rule as well as the octon rule. And we'll solve few examples as well. So we'll start with the help of this PowerPoint. This PowerPoint is I met up with Dr. Sharad Patil, sir. He is my best friend and uh, we have taken his help, right? So let's start. This alpha axial haloketone rule means the whatever molecules are there, that molecules which we have used is ketone containing molecules, right? So, whatever study is happen is related to ketone molecules. Okay, see, this is cyclohexanone. And in this cyclohexanone, these two positions, this position as well as this position, okay, adjacent to this ketone group is called as alpha position, right? Then in this alpha position, there are two possibilities of substituent. Okay, this halogen atom has to attach either axial side or either this equatorial position, right? But there is a uh, possibility or we will learn why only axial is important. The rule applies when there is axial halogen next to the keto group of cyclohexanone only. Okay. So this example is very important. Uh, once you understand this example, then we can solve even complicated example as well. Okay, let's try to see or try to focus this carbonyl group. This carbonyl at the head of the chair closest to the observer. मतलब हम लोग यहाँ से देख रहे हैं ऐसे इमेजिन करना ठीक है when we are looking or observer through this keto group then what is meant by right side the compound shows strong positive cotton effect if this halogen group at right side right and other thing if this halogen group is at left side means suppose at this position okay then it will show the negative cotton effects. So, may, may you will think this is so easy, right? But wait, wait. We'll solve a few examples, then you can make your judgment. So, this rule is applied for ketosteroid type of molecule that are axially substituted with a halogen atom at the alpha carbon atom. Axial substitution is preferred. This may why axial, right? because of dipole-dipole repulsion is possible in the equatorial isomer. See here, this is axial halogen group and this is equatorial halogen group. In equatorial halogen group, this delta minus charge is uh, present in this halogen as well as the present in this oxygen group, right? So, there will be a dipole-dipole repulsion. So, this, this equatorial uh, confirmation will not help or to identify the position of that compound. So, this alpha axial haloketone rule is come from this type of molecule. Then the position of the halogen is because of chlorine as well as bromine. Whatever they have studied is because of chlorine and uh, when there is a chlorine or bromine is there. But the same kind of influence is also there, sign of the cotton effect and similar effects were found for other substituent as well, such as NR2 group, SR group or SO2R group. Means instead of halogen, if such kind of groups are there, then also uh, it will show the positive or negative pattern. 
right let's start to solve one example see here this is the one example we have given the nomenclature this is number one carbon this is number two or this is number three this is four this is five and this is six okay then how we can write down this in quadrant type of molecule there are four quadrants and based on quadrant how we can write down this molecule it will help us to solve the octant rule as well right so see here this is number one carbon this is carbon opposite to it which is carbon four see here one opposite to here carbon four okay then the right side of this carbonyl observer is from this side right side is two so carbon two in that carbon two there is axial position halogen group so on axial there is a halogen group right which is attached to third number of carbon and the fourth okay in the left side of carbonyl there is a carbon 6 and then which is c5 and c4 hope you understand this then try to focus on the sign which they have given which is here is positive here is negative again the here is positive and here is negative okay so this is the exact the quadrant type is there okay so right side is positive left side negative and here is opposite okay so this type of molecule is shows the positive quantum effect why because from observer this halogen group is at right side and even in axial position so positive effect see here this quadrant will show the positive quantum effect i think at least 10 percent you have understand okay or if someone understand more than that i'm so happy we'll take another example see in assignment of configuration based on this rule is carried out by drawing the carbonyl carbon at the head of the chair okay if the axial alpha halogen is found on the right side, this is right side, in the compound, it shows the positive part of it. Just now it's What about here? If observer is here now, exact the mirror image. Then if observer is here, then again at alpha position, this is alpha position, and in alpha position, there is a halogen atom, which is at axial position. Then if the axial alpha halogen is found on the left side in the compound, it exhibits negative pattern effect. Come on. Hope you understand. Right? So we can easily differentiate positive pattern effect and negative quantum effect. When we have learned the RS type of nomenclature, okay, those who can, uh, who know RS type of nomenclature, rectus and sinister, they can easily identify the positive quantum effect or negative quantum effect, okay. For that, we will learn again the few examples. We will take it. See, for more confirmation, okay. In the same compound, here is observer. Okay, this is observer. Hami de Grayans. To the Knikba Pata Chilega, a Tesereva, a center molecule Yapi. Right? Firuska left side ye Reva. Yapi Kai Hydrogen. This is hydrogen. See here. Yapi Kai. Halogen, right side. This is one carbon having halogen. Okay, 
Now, what is the configuration of this compound? Because this is now the optical active, right? Backside one carbon is also there. So four different substituents are there. Four different substituents. What is the configuration of this carbon? Obviously, the configuration of this carbon is because numbering should be like this: this halogen one, this halogen two, and this carbon. Uh, sorry, this backside carbon. Here is hydrogen, right? This backside carbon is three. Okay, so how it will be one, two, and three? Because this hydrogen is top. Okay, so configuration is S type of configuration. Understand? Yes or no? Yes. So this is the last. Uh, I can say the preferable side. Okay. So this this circle is nothing but backside carbon. Or you can see here. This is one side. This is two, and this is three. Okay, so this is one, two, three, and the observer is at your side. Okay, so the whatever configuration is there is S configuration. In S configuration means the optical activity is lower rotatory. It will show the positive quaternary pair. Chalo, write down. What you have to write down? When there will be S type of configuration, there will be a positive pattern effect. Or when there is a positive pattern effect, the configuration should be S. So rotation is LIVO. Understand? Great. So what will be the graph in ORD? This is the graph of ORD or CD. So the positive. So it will start in the negative and it will move towards the positive. So this is negative. This is positive. Okay. So lambda max is moving, is increasing side. Okay. On this side. So this graph will show the positive pattern effect. Understand? Okay. Chalo. Let's move the next side. Next example. Now, the mirror image of that compound. See, now observer is here. Okay. Now, we are seeing it. Now, left side ka carbon. Okay. Its left side ka carbon. Where is it? Halogen. Halogen. At axial position. So number one यहाँ पे preference किसको देंगे halogen को पहला preference ये carbon को दूसरा और ये carbon को तीसरा so actually क्या रहेगा ये यहाँ से देखेंगे तो ये rotation will be like this so S and this observer means this hydrogen is above the plane so we have to take it opposite so the configuration is R configuration, and R configuration means the rotation is dextro, and the conclusion is negative quaternary pair. The conclusion is negative quaternary pair. Hope you understand. Yes, guys. Very nice. So see here when the curve. Now you can see the curve in CD. Okay, in CD you can see this curve we started, but at the maximum wavelength it started to decrease. Okay, and decrease and it will go up to negative. So this is on decrease. Maximum wavelength is here, but on negative side. So this is negative pattern effect. Hope you understand. Great. Can we move? Very good. Next and important as per exam point of view. Suppose you have this very big type of molecule. 
12 keto steroid undergoes bromination to form 1 1 bromo or 11 bromo 12 keto steroid. 11 bromo 12 keto steroid. This is steroid type of molecule, uh, not type steroid having almost 27 more than carbon atoms are there. Now we have to focus on this ketone as well as at alpha position there is a bromine group. Only our target is there. Now tell me which is the cotton effect here. Whether this compound is optically active? Yes. It has the alpha halogen position? Yes. That position is at axial or uh, equatorial? That we don't know. Not yet. Okay. But it will show the positive or negative pattern. That's sure. Now, try to give the justification. So, give the numbering. This, this type of uh, a curve type of molecule means this is the below the plane. Okay. So, give the number 1. Then this carbon is 2. And this carbon is 3. What do you think? So, this is 1, 2, and 3. So, already this is below the plane. So, the rotation is right. Okay. If rotation is right, means this is R configuration. Means dextro rotatory. Am I correct? Dextro rotation. And the negative pattern effect. So, this compound will show the negative pattern effect. So, see, guys, in competitive examination, examiner is going to ask you such big type of molecule, and we have to understand whether the positive pattern effect or negative pattern effect might be they will provide us few. Uh, uh, few answers like whether this compound show the R configuration or dextro rotation or S configuration or LEO and they will do the four options and we have to select one of them. Right? So within minute or even half minute you can able to solve such kind of problem. Right? So this is all about the alpha axial hello ketone group. So let's start to learn about the octant rule. Okay, or better we'll learn in the next session. Okay, see you in the next session.